The next person on the list is Manuel Yang. SOS Brigade, these are the members on the tables. I want to pass out the leaflets and we're going to upload this uh, video on our YouTube site. So if you want to have a link or be on the mailing list, uh, please write down your email address and name so we can give you credit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read. Uh, you didn't even upload the last one, What's that? You said upload the one from the last one. I did. It's up there. I gave uh, sent the link to John. John oh, cool. He's sick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a two, uh, one series of poems. This was published and written 10 years ago for Cultural Logic Online Journal. And I'm going to finish it up with uh, a poem I wrote a year, year ago, a couple of years ago, which was rejected by a different journal. So mm -hmm. this is called uh, Anti Aesthetics for Bourgeois Times. This window of signification that Magritte never drew breaks, crumbling under the force of pistols shaped in heaven's statuettes of crimson. The roads are blasted, the soldiers shoot blood, and the lines of ashes are as forgivable as fenestration committed in two. I recall time. Did I say time? The ancient tortures are long forgotten, battles never finished, and what time is there in this cycle of crashing, bond rush? Immobile and memorialized. The gasoline screams isolation and takes away the only dignity I haven't got. Nothing doesn't come from nothing. Law of attrition. The age, any age, doesn't only does not need another hero. It does not need another genius either. It never did. We were just spellbound by the spirit of the times, a mistaken conjugation. But if the rulers are bad cooks, why do we still eat their food and call it great? Why do we keep on dining on our own flesh? This next one. Half dedicated to Hank, Charles Bukowski. On the other half, you'll figure out Hank in the Old War. Nightly in his old age, after a day at the racetrack, while cracking a beer or rolling a cigarette or sometimes nothing, Hank wrote many poems on his Mac, watering his words like he and his wife fed their cats. Was there a method, a strategy to his productivity, his endless dances with words that lasted until he drew his last breath? The old Moor died in his chair, ready the memory of Jenny and his boils, approaching a receding point of grave infinity. And of course, he too wrote much with the tip of his pen dipped in hope, doubt, and tragedy. And not necessarily in that order, but what is Das Kapital, but a long, irreconcilable, unfinished drama, chronicling the death and rebellion in the heart of the beast. Hank, to be sure, did not like this bristling and monumental poem calling it once dry, very dry shit. But between Hank and the old Moor, apart from their industry and stature, they possess two things in common. Recognition of work as shit and a will to write from the perspective of those who do that work. Next one is called... Uh, <laughs> Benediction, Benediction for Fundamentalists. Yeah. <laughs> Playful Christ-ridden bastards in a wave of feigned desperation take us over like flooded alcohol from freeways and airports, post offices and TV stations. Worse than buried almonds, they're tortured animals seeking blood in the form of installment plans and mortgage offerings. Loan sharks of God disguised as an equal opportunity investment bankers for salvation. No insecticides will kill them only encourages that anti-Malthusian dictum of theirs that is more Stalinist than the pen-pushing CP bureaucrats now out of fashion. Christ, grant us the patience of these genuine sodomites and scalding brimstones and annihilating fire down the valley where the sheep eat their excrement and fuck their masters for free. Yeah! Dream of 
revolution, a shade of violet, a kind of catastrophe, nothing but silence, a feverish wake-up call running through the streets, figureheads broken in a bonfire, accidents break out without conspiracy, pure chance smashed like an exploding glass of wine, the splinters make the barricades, rats escape through alleyways choked with noise and tender death. My identity is that spiring star witnessing the strobe lights of histories. Clipped nails disperse in a hurry. Never to fall, never to forget. Sweet, eviscerating silence. They come, these sailing dynamites without words or message. A tortured tree in transformation grammar of irreversible baptism of machine guns shooting up my comrades in the grace of chaos. I arrange no crown made of olive branches and leaves of the future is not yet stolen from us. <laughs> razor blade tastes like the sun. Razor blade tastes like the sun as I lop off another ear for a whore I have sanctified a church of my dead dreams. I try to signal feebly, blindly to the traffic lights, strangling my eyes, crossing Hawthorne, and about to go back to a house roasted with suicided flies and battle-worn bedbugs, the noise of smog and blood and alcohol, as on a day of grease, death, and machine dull my hands and eyes from thinking anything except the thug, crack, and clang of belt conveyors smeared with the refuse of work as I continue the transaction. The modern times, Chaplin, you fucking nothing of. <laughs> this was written right after the day uh, the bombing started, the NATO bombing. This was 1999, of Kosovo. NATO, New York. The miscegenation of intense light and searing bombs began again last night. So principled are such pauses of sharp desecration before sleep moves fast from the throat. My soul, which the sky has forgotten how to dance, and I need some intoxicants to confirm and convey these cut and torn varicose veins of narrow streets I call without hesitation or silence home. The return of the angry native, not these runaway dream again. It is too full of days, smashed to joyride flames and banshee brows. Meanings all tucked away in a flash of a switchblade. All our bedlam neighbors are sipping arsenic on measly social security checks. My discontent, curses, decrepitude, the city is dead as I am. series, uh, this is called Optimism and Will. Passion and revolution come like lilies burned at the stem of a dying shepherd's alibi. All the bad language and Marxisms we incinerated in a drop of a forgotten manifesto shall not rise again with swift incantation of apocalypse or sudden kiss, but with bled hymenal flood of anguish and beauty scorched from the belly of this monstrous whale whose intestines we have eaten, spat out in blood, disillusioned and calcium from dead prophecies, remembered, folded, and burned. <laughs> <laughs>